again. Yeah, it's me, Dunk, again. Yeah, I'm still on the road after my last video. Not too sure where I am. Oh, yes, I'm on the Seven Mile Lane, which is just uh, west of Maystone. Nice, big, long, straight road. Um, so, today, uh, it's the end of summer. And, to me, one of the best things about the end of summer, not the weather, obviously, but the fact that everyone starts using sensible bike gear again. Sorry to say this so loud and so sternly, but the amount of idiots that are riding around during the summer in t-shirts, shorts, I've even seen fucking flip-flops on people while riding bikes and scooters. They're just brain dead. It just absolutely astounds me at how idiotic people can be. I mean, if you come off, and you know, even if you come off at low speeds, I mean, what am I doing? I'm doing 40 now, which is, you know, fairly speed. If I come off now, I've got Kevlar jeans on, armoured boots, leather jacket, gloves, helmet. If I come off, it's going to bloody hurt. At 40 miles an hour, it's going to bloody hurt. And I'll be lucky if I don't come out of it with at least a few brakes and abrasions and some loss of skin somewhere along the line. Now, if I come off and I'm not wearing all the protective gear, and I'm wearing shorts, trainers, t-shirt, no gloves. I'm going to lose fingers, toes. I'm going to lose large portions of flesh, including muscle tissue. I mean, that's life-changing shit. I mean, I'm still, I'm still only doing 35 miles an hour now. And look at that road. That is like death. That'll just, that's just going to literally rip your flesh off your body if you've touched that. And. You know, just people don't get it in their heads. Now, I ride my bike in the summer, in the heat, and it is horrible with a with, you know, leather jacket on. You can feel the sweat just pouring out of you. You, you know, your crash helmet starts to smell. Your gloves, you can't get your gloves off after a while. They're just stuck to you. Oh, look how beautiful this is. And, yeah, I know the temptation to just, oh, fuck it, I'm not going to bother with gloves, I'm not going to wear my jacket, I'm just going to wear a T-shirt, some shorts, and some trainers. That'll do. That'll be alright. I'm only going to nip into town. I'm only going to do sort of 30, 40 mile an hour. 30, 40 mile an hour? Are you crazy? I mean, yes, there are other things to worry about when you go off the bike, like cars, vans, trucks, trees, lampposts, curbs, your own bike hitting you once you've come off. But to add a loss of sort of digits and flesh because you couldn't be bothered to wear the, the sensible stuff and you're now face down skimming across this oversized piece of sandpaper that is tarmac you're an idiot i'm sorry i know that might offend a few of you but you're a bloody idiot put your decent bike gear on i know it's going to be hot and uncomfortable and i know it's expensive i mean my jeans cost what 180 quid yeah, yeah, you can get Kevlar jeans a lot cheaper than that, but I wanted to go for some decent quality. I wanted to know that when I came off this bike, there was a good chance I was going to keep most of the flesh on my body. It's worth it, people. It is so worth it. Oh, nice water. So, please, if you're going out on a bike, I know if you sent all your savings on the bike and you don't have enough money for gear, you shouldn't have bought that bike. You should have bought a cheaper bike and bought your gear. Simple as that. And if you've got the gear, bloody wear it. I mean, all you have to do is Google, you know, motorcycle accident damage um, sort of injuries, and you can see the horrific crap that, that happens to your body when you come off a motorbike. Oh, God, it sickens me. When I can't watch those videos. I'm a biker and I'm preaching about it. I still can't watch those videos. Oh, that's nice. Look at this lovely sunshine. So, get on your bike, get your gear on, and go and enjoy yourselves. Make the most of what's left of our good weather, because it ain't lasting much longer. Uh, I think tomorrow's going to be horrific when it comes down to the weather. And likewise, I think most of next week's going to be pretty nasty. Oh, teas. Oh, I know where I am. Okay. So, on a lighter note, it is lovely out here at the moment. Rant's over now, so you all can relax. I fancy.
that's it, pine. I really do, but I don't drink and drive. Or drink and ride. Where any yeah, well, whatever. I mean I'm not the greatest biker in the world, so any alcohol in my system is only gonna make things a lot worse. Which way to go? Which way to go? Which way to go? I'll go this way. Oh, yeah, same with him. Oh, isn't this lovely? Hey? Eh? I really hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Well, it's not, it's impossible. You can't enjoy this as much as I am because you're just watching it on your computer. I am actually here. Sitting in traffic. Yeah, I could rush up to the front, but I'm in no rush. It's not the sort of person I am. Oh, nice old mini behind me. We'll probably go up through, um, let's go up the downs, up through the woods. We have to get underneath this motorway first and uh, get past all this traffic. That'd be a nice little ride. So, what's new in the world? Right, I I'd, actually, I read a really interesting um, video, oh, I'll have to try and find a link to it. Uh, one of my one of the chaps I follow, he's an American chap. Uh, I will try and find the link. I will put it on this thing. Uh, and he was talking about sort of the troubles that Harley are going to have to face in, in the coming few years, due to uh, the change in the way people are buying and using motorbikes. Um, and it was interesting because Harley will tell you that they, they've they've increased their market share and all that stuff. But what this chap was saying is that yeah, they've increased their market share, but they've increased their market share in a dwindling market. Um, so they're actually selling less bikes, um, and it's a tra it's a problem facing all of biking community. There are less motorbikes on the road. Um, now there's loads of reasons for this. I mean, in England, um, it's the fact that we don't have what you call a sort of a really big bike culture here. The weather's not that great. Uh, the traffic is terrible. Uh, the roads are quite potholed. Look at that state of that. You wouldn't want to hit that with a motorbike. Um, and, you know, most kids when they leave college or school, all they want to do is get a car. You know, they want to hang around with their mates in a car. Because motorcycles, I'm sorry to say it, they're just not that practical. The only really real, real reason people have motorbikes, one well, of the reasons that people have motorbikes, is for leisure and motorcycle couriers. That's pretty much it. Um, you do get the odd commuter who uses a motorcycle because it's cheap, but to be honest, at the end of the day, most motorcycles are only a little cheaper than most cars. And the wonderful thing about a car is you stay warm and you stay dry, mostly. And you can put stuff in a car. You can arrive at work clean and dry and not too stressed out. You can go to the shops and buy, shed loads of stuff and put it in your car. Whereas on a motorbike, yeah, you can't. And uh, gone are the days of motorcycles being an awful lot cheaper than cars. I mean, back in the sort of 80s and, and earlier from that, motorcycles were radically cheaper than cars. But that's just not the case anymore. I'm in the wrong gear. It's all right. Ooh, big barricade. Nice. Listen to that roar up there. Oh, listen to her thud away. Oh, ho, ho. hello, baby. Hello, my girl. And how glorious is this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. So, yeah, oh, it's wet. That's not, that's not, that's not loud. Why is it wet there? Oh, there's nothing nasty. Um, so yeah, biking is getting harder and harder and harder. And I, th I really believe if it wasn't for the fact that Harley makes so much money from their retail sales, their, their gear, their jackets, their clothing, their, their gizmos and gadgets and stuff that they sell alongside the bikes, that company would have failed a long time ago. And uh, it must be very difficult for motorcycle companies now to pull in enough customers 
to make it worthwhile and I think it's just it's the way things are going and especially here in Europe I know we're leaving Europe as Britain is leaving Europe yes I know that's happening well a lot of people reckon it's never going to happen but yeah whatever anyway, no, no, that's, I'm not going to get into that um, we just had the new Euro 4 regulations which uh, I'll have to do some research into it but as far as I'm aware it is mostly uh, emissions and that's one of the things that's killed Victory is that the, the big old V-twin on this Victory cannot meet the current emissions rules and Harley have had to change their engine range. I mean, they've come out with a whole new range of bikes, which I've yet to go and see. Actually, I'll tell you what, I might go and see them today. Actually, I might pop in there and see their new range, because they've, they've got new ranges come out. Um, but everyone's saying the new Euro 4 specified engines are nowhere near as fun, loud and rash as the old ones. And I think, yeah, I think the bureaucrats and the environmentalists have... Um, ruin it for the rest of us, sadly. They really have ruined it for everyone, which is a shame, but yeah, at the end of the day, I do understand the environment is important. Here's me and my big V-twin, making loads of noise and pollution just for the fucking sake of it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Just enjoying the day. So, yeah, biking at the moment is going for a huge change, and I don't think it's going to be a change for the good. So I think bikes are going to get a lot more boring. Bikes are going to get more expensive because they need more emission control stuff and engine control stuff. Um, what else is happening? Oh, yeah, in England at the moment we're having a huge spate of uh, scooters being stolen. Predominantly scooters being stolen. And they're being used by gangs, mostly in London at the moment, to attack each other because they're so mobile and versatile and they're so easy to steal. Um, so the scooter manufacturers are currently going through a bit of a dilemma that they need to make their bikes less stealable so either way, put more electronics or physical security items on the bikes to stop them from being stolen, but yet keep them cheap enough to keep them as scooters and not have them sort of like start sort of moving up in the price brackets towards the sort of cost of a motorbike. Because that will just defeat half the object of having a scooter. Anyway, I think that's my rant over. Um, it's a lovely day. I'm going to carry on enjoying this. Uh, I don't know, where am I heading? I'm heading towards Gravesend at the moment, so I do need to loop back around and head back towards Maystone sometime soon, but uh, I'm enjoying myself too much at the moment. Um, anyway, you guys have a lovely day. I'll catch you later, and take care.